Okay, we're going to do the press conference in English without translation, and then if there are questions at the end that you want translated into Italian, um, we can do that also. But let's start with English. Um, firstly, how useful an exercise would that be for you in the start of season? It's always good to have a, uh, a test before the season starts. So this was a good test. But of course, you always got a few little and minor problems and. Yeah, hopefully we can solve them. Okay, wrapped up obviously big side in this week, half an hour. How do you feel he went? And what do you hope he'll bring in this season? No, that is one of the minor problems I feel. You know, you get them in, you can't take the players who are probably 10 million, so I'm very happy with him, but he hasn't been included in the QPR team, so we have to get him fit. So, of course, you can't start with him, that is the thing. And we've got another few, two or three players. Derek Boateng played 60 minutes, didn't play for a year. You've got uh, Ashkan who came back from an injury. And uh, yeah, every player who will come in in the next week or so will have the same problem. So for us, it's good that we start the season. On the other hand, maybe we could have done with a couple of weeks. Eh? But we have, to, we have to start next week and uh, we have to find a solution. How many weeks or how long do you visit it? Uh, uh, to make him 100% you need three or four weeks the medical stuff set but I think we need him before that so uh, I, will, I will try to get him into match fi fitness as soon as possible What do you hope he gives you this season? You're obviously desperate to... Now you saw today, you know, we lacked a bit of quality and uh, of course the first 11 uh, looked okay the first half but still, you know, we need a couple of players and the second half when we when we changed the whole lot and we looked a bit vulnerable, so uh, every time when he had the ball you saw that something happened and that is what I need, that is why I took him, you know, we've got some youngsters there, Mesca, was a bit nervous first half, that is what you get, uh, Fry is the same, very good on the ball but no end product yet, so he has to work on that, so uh, Adele is someone who, who can uh, score goals and uh, will uh, have five, six assists, you know, I hope, first half of the season. No, it's always the same thing, you know. They, uh, you've got different characters, and uh, he should not be in the situation he is now. Uh, but that means, you know, uh, that a lot of players who are in the league and in Europe and not into in, in the squads, they should play. You know, they've got their problems. I always say, for us, it's a opportunity to take them when they are bad and that doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad players no we have to get try to get the maximum out of them but for us it's not possible to get all these players you know who are good you know Berbatov is probably an exception uh, Breda Hangeland in the, in the past when we took him from uh, Denmark was an exception but the rest you have to be creative and that is what we try to do and I think certainly with Adele Tarab to be well very creative because a year ago he was probably going to Paris Saint-Germain for a lot of money. Then they throw him out of the QPR squad and I was happy to take him. But uh, I think he has to prove now again that he can do a very good job, you know, because he's 24 now. So hopefully he will prove to us and to anybody else that he can do a good job. Talk about needing new faces. How many in the world would you like to see him? And is Darren Bent I don't want to talk about speculation, but everybody saw, you know, when we started today, I thought it was a good team. Meska is 20, I don't think he played before in the league. Ashkan De Jaga, you know, needed match fitness, so it's, it's a sort of juggle and you don't want that, you know, you want a settled lineup, and that is what we're working on. I think in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, hopefully we get enough points and then be ready for, for a tough season and have a very good team because that is my motivation to create a new team here. And what areas do you feel need to strengthen Everybody knows that I feel that we need pace up front uh, because we've got some good players. We've got, uh, we need goals and if you see all our flank players, good, talented. But I feel that since uh, Clint Dempsey left, there's not enough goals in us, so we work on that. But uh, you can't force the issue, so I think Adele is capable of scoring goals. Of course, Berbatov is, Brian could be, but he has to do better now. 
and uh, that is what I need. I need someone who, who can score goals, I need something in midfield, and we try to do something at the back. Sorry, can you just clarify the bank situation? Because it was conflicting reports coming this way. No, no. All the reports, you know, is not coming from us, it's coming from other sides, and I don't talk about uh, players who are not here. How disruptive do you feel this week might be? I'm um, talking to the tour managers today. You've obviously got a Premier League season that starts on the weekend, and I don't know how many players you're going to lose this week. No, it's a. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I would say not unbelievable, but it's a very uncommon situation. But I was used to it you know, since I've been here and since I've been in Germany. It happens. I can't believe why, but it happens. And instead of working tomorrow and Monday, you, you know, your best players are going to the national teams. But I have to say, it is not as bad as it was in the in the in the past. You know, we've got uh, a few players with a little uh, little niggling injury, so they will stay here. Uh, and hopefully we'll be fine. But for example, Bayo, you know, he's got a little injury, and he's play, he's playing a friendly in, the, I think, in America. And that is that is not very good. You know. And um, just finally for me as well, um, another player that's been in the headline team over on this week, Suarez. You've spoken at length about him when you've talked to him before. Are you a bit surprised at the situation? He now finds himself here. No, no, I'm not surprised because that happens, you know. And we had the same situation with Clint Dempsey. When they tapped uh, Clint Dempsey up, you know, we had the situation with Clint. And now they've got the same situation probably. But I don't know uh, uh, the reality because if he got a clause, he's got a clause. If he hasn't got a clause, it's different. So I don't want to speculate, you know. They, were, they know exactly what they are doing. And Suarez, of course, is a big player for them. So I don't know what will happen. No, he's not. He's 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 he's, he's proud, but he's not stubborn. He uh, he stayed with us for another year, and he wanted to go the year before because he's a, he's a player who should play at the highest level, you know. And I think Liverpool, of course, is a good club, but I don't know what his ambitions are, and I don't know about a specific problem over there. So. Uh, Thank you. Chris. For us, it's important that we uh, get goals in. And of course, I've got Kering Fry, uh, I've got uh, Meska, I've got uh, a few players who can play on the flank, but they haven't. They are not proven goal scorers. Uh, Fry, for example, played 25 games for us. You know, I'm very proud of him, but he had one goal and I think no assist. So we're working on the fact and, and that uh, that he will be better and he, he, he will improve, but it's not uh, the finished article yet, like a lot of them. So that is why I need goals and that is what we try to do because we are a very good Premier League club and we, we've got some good players and I want to um, strengthen the squad. And just one thing, there's a, a report on the wives today that from the office of John uh, on Rita, I don't know about free transfers, you know, that it, it's more about uh, John, he was uh, such a good servant for this club and I've got more options, I've got Briggs, I've got Kieran, I've got uh, John and I've got Fernando who could play left back. So what I feel is, and that is what I told uh, John, but it's, it's uh, up to him, he's always reliable and uh, as you know Kieran had a few injuries last year so I could always fall back on him and he played. But when Kieran is playing, he's he's he, he's too good, I think, for the bench. So it's up to him, and we spoke about it. And uh, but if he stays, I'm happy, you know, uh, because he's a, he's a very good player. And if he decides to go somewhere where he can play all the time, because in pre-season now, Kieran was my first choice. And just in terms of the season, what, what do you think Fulham's realistic ambitions are this year? I think if we are like we are, we will have the same season. And that is not that we will struggle, but we will have the same situation as 10 other clubs in the bottom half. But uh, like, you know, the uh, year before, we had 52 points, we had Dembele, Dembele, we had all the players, we had a fantastic team. And I think with uh, a couple of additions, like Terrap, and maybe, well, yeah, we spoke about it before, two or three, then we will have a very good team. But yeah, you need a, a couple of weeks to to adjust.
Okay, guys, any more? Do we want any in Italian? No? Okay, thank you very sure. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.